Hi there, my name is Michelle Demery and I'm the founder of MissDiamondRing.com. Today we're going to be talking about emerald cuts, the beautiful emerald cut, which I like to call the honest cut, because what you see is what you get. Emerald cuts are so clean and so pure and they don't have any faceting, hiding anything. So if you have a really good stone, everyone can tell. And if you have a not so great stone, everyone can tell. So when it comes to emerald cuts, the most important takeaway is clarity is worth the investment on emerald cuts. Now, when we're thinking about the emerald cut, just to share a little bit about this cut, it is called a step cut. And that is because it, if you look at the stone, it looks like it has steps in it, like stair steps down into the center of the stone. It's very mesmerizing. It is a subtle elegance. It's very timeless, very classic, uh, very popularized by Harry Winston doing the emerald cut with taper baguettes, which Kate Hudson had back in the day. So definitely a favorite and it can be done in settings so beautifully with three stones or just as a simple solitaire, but it is truly a timeless, elegant look. Now, when you're thinking about the overall shape of an emerald cut, it's kind of like the Goldilocks syndrome, right? You don't want it to be too wide. You don't want it to be too narrow. So the range in which you should stay ratio wise is between one, three and one, four, five. And the difference with this is a one, one to three ratio, which is dividing the length by the width is it's going to be a little bit wider stone. And so that would work for a woman who actually just loves a wider ratio emerald cut. Or if she has a size, let's say six to seven finger, that would be um, more appropriate on her hand. And then as you go toward one four five, one four to one four five, that's gonna be the standard, you know, the standard ratio that you typically see on an emerald cut. And they're all just so beautiful. You know, if you have a wider, um, a wider ratio emerald cut, you, you really get to see and appreciate the lines more because it's a little bit more spread out. And then on the standard size, of course, like it's just a beautiful proportionate um, emerald cut, but if it gets too narrow, everything gets too condensed, too scrunched, and it's not so pretty. So stay within that range. In terms of the color, uh, the beautiful thing about emerald cuts is they show color less. They just do. You can look at an eye color emerald cut and you will think it is an F or a G color. No joke. I've done this thousands of times, I know. Now, if you can stay in the D, E, F colorless range, it's perfect, but not everyone can stay in that range and also hit their carrot weight uh, budget, a carrot weight mark and stay within budget. So in the GHIJ range, which is the colorless, uh, near colorless range, all the way up to eye color, really beautiful. Like you can find a beautiful emerald cut in that range. And if you're working with someone really good, they can source an eye color that faces up like a G color, which is always ideal. So again, with emerald cuts, the, the, the really great hack is that their color is not as noticeable as let's say like an oval cut or a radiant cut, which due to the, the faceting between 58 and 70 facets, it condenses everything and it magnifies the color. So on an emerald cut, you can, you can kind of go wherever you want, wherever it makes sense. Ideally, in an ideal world, if you said, Michelle, what should I get? I would say F or G color, because that's just to me the sweet spot. F and G is the sweet spot. F is colorless, G is near colorless, and they're, they're sister colors, so it's really hard to differentiate the, between the two. Um, you can get D or E, but you're going to pay quite a bit for that. So if you get an F color, you're still colorless, and then you know stay within the size range, that will really make her happy. Now, when it comes to clarity, as I mentioned, with emerald cuts, it's truly worth the investment because as I, as I mentioned, it's a hall of mirrors. So one inclusion gets magnified and that inclusion does not go away anytime soon. So it really is important to be no lower than VS2. And really, if you can be in the VVS uh, one VVS2 range up to VS1, 
that's really where I feel comfortable sourcing emerald cuts for my clients, you know, and, and keep in mind, the larger the stone, the more you see naturally. So you do have to, even though you're spending more for more carat weight, you do have to be mindful and uh, invest more in the clarity. So you don't have a big, beautiful emerald where people see an inclusion in the center or even on the side, because everything is visible in the honest cut, the emerald cut. So keep that in mind. When it comes to the cut grade, so how well the stone is polished, how the symmetry is. I will say that the symmetry is the most important on an emerald cut because of the lines, okay? If, if the symmetry is not 100% in alignment, it does not look right. It does not refract light the right way. So that needs to be excellent. And then the polish, I'm, I'm okay going down to very good. Um, Everything I work with is generally GIA certified unless a client otherwise specifies. GIA has the most stringent grading standards in the industry. So whatever they say on the cert, you can trust and have peace of mind that what they're saying is 100% legitimate. And you know, you pay more for a GIA certified stone, but it's certainly worth the investment when you're spending this much. Now, um, so we've covered, we've covered ratio, we've co covered color, uh, cut, we've covered clarity. Now the overall carat weight of a, an emerald cut, some stones show larger, some stones show smaller. The emerald cut, as I mentioned, it's the honest cut. So a four carat looks like a four carat, a three carat looks like a three carat, and you're not gonna really have any like great cheats with an emerald cut. Whatever you're, you know, whatever size you're trying to get, if we source a three carat, it's going to look like a three carat. It just comes down to how, what kind of ratio do you think will look perfect for her hand? And that's what I do with my clients. I, I literally get pictures of her hand, I learn her ring size, and then we kind of work around that because, you know, you're not buying a car, guys. You're not buying a commodity. You're buying the most symbolic, meaningful, sentimental piece of jewelry that she doesn't put on every once in a while. She literally is looking at this like hundreds of times per day. And every time she looks at it, it, it literally brings her joy and makes her happy. And it's connected to you, the person buying it for her or with her or together. Look, I mean, I see couples are, are buying in all these new creative ways, very much teammate mentality, which I think is great. But the bottom line is honor the process. This is a sacred purchase and really be mindful of how this will make her feel, okay? If she likes a setting with a halo, but you don't like a halo, I do recommend getting what she likes. And I, I kind of liken it to, you know, if, if women were picking out cars for guys, and it's your forever car, the car you're going to drive every day to work with your friends on your road trips, and that's the car you get. Like, you're not getting an upgrade, maybe in 10 years or 20 years, but maybe not. Like if you wanted a black Tesla and she got you a white Jeep because she liked that better, how would you feel? You know, you probably wouldn't be so thrilled. You would still love her and be with her, but you're driving that every day. It's like that for women. Rings are a statement of our style. It's an energetic thing. It lights us up. We dream about it our whole lives. So. At Miss Diamond Ring, we really honor the process. We honor the purchase. It's sacred. It's representative of your love story. So anyway, I hope you found this information helpful on Emerald Cuts. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out at sparkle at MissDiamondRing.com. I've worked at Harry Winston, Tiffany & Company, and Van Cleef & Arpels, so I, I know a thing or two about diamonds and Emerald Cuts specifically, and I'd love to help. Okay, hope you're having a great day. Congratulations on meeting the one and finding the one. That is like the best thing in life is falling in love and meeting your person. And I hope you found this helpful and have a beautiful day. Bye.